Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chivers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience working primarily Monday to Friday in the financial services sector. Five times AWS certified and I like nothing more in my free time than making videos for this very YouTube channel. So we're on to our third lesson now. First lesson, we use the Glue Data Catalog to register our data inside that repository using crawlers. Last lesson, we made an ETL job using the Glue Studio. And now we're gonna look at scheduling that job. And this happens all the time. We have jobs created and now we want to run them on a schedule that can be time-based or event-driven. So how do we schedule these jobs? There's a couple of options. There's a lot of third-party um, software out there. Apache Airflow comes to mind and many corporations have their own kind of scheduling tools already. A couple that I've worked with in the past, Control-M and UC4. However, AWS offer its own scheduler inside the Glue console itself or inside that Glue ecosystem. It has triggers where they can be time-based, so we want to run something on a time schedule, once a day, once an hour. Or they can be event-driven, where we say, if A happens, run our job. There's also workflows where we can build up more complex kind of patterns where we can wait on an event happening, trigger a job, run another job in an hourly fashion, and then get the two things to work together in tandem, for example. The Glue Scheduler is really powerful. Um, it natively works inside AWS with Glue, and that's a big plus. You don't have to kind of build any of the constraints around if you were going to use a third-party tool. Especially for the learning purposes like ourselves, or if you're a startup company, or you're fresh in the AWS, and you don't really have set processes that you have to follow, like our monitoring team must use another tool. I really recommend getting the grips with triggers, workflows, and the scheduling, just to remove that overhead from your organization or yourself. It's powerful, it works, and you can just get on with using AWS Glue. As always, the best way to learn is by doing, so let's just jump on the console, let's get the grips of those triggers and workflows in AWS Glue and start scheduling our ETL code to run. Okay, that's me logged back into the AWS Glue console as before. Just a quick recap of what we've covered so far in this series, it's been a lot. Um, we created this S3 bucket, we put in two folders, input and output. We've created a CSV table, or a table consisting of CSV data of customers. We crawled that and registered in our Glue Data Catalog in our input database. We created a Glue ETL job that takes that CSV file and lifts it and turns it into Parquet. Puts it in that output location and that's got its own Parquet customer table that sits in the Glue Data Catalog that we registered with a crawler as well. And then as a bit of a bonus, we've been using Athena to look at that data inside the S3 bucket. Now we have that ETL job created um, in our jobs. In a real world example, we might want this job to run on a daily basis or an hourly basis. And to do this, Glue actually has two things built in to help us. The first is triggers, where we can trigger that, both on time or event. And then to take triggers and build a more complex workflow, there's workflows. So there's two bits of scheduling we're going to look at. The first is triggers, the second is workflows. So let's go to triggers and let's add a trigger. I'm going to call this one daily. So daily trigger, um, it's going to run daily and I want it to run in the morning, for example, which is going to be at nine o'clock every morning on a daily schedule. And we can say next and we want to add that job into our daily schedule and everything else is fine. And we want to enable trigger on creation and finish. And that's it. Done. Simple as that. That job will run at 9 a.m. every day. Th that is one of the simplest scheduling processes I've ever saw. Now, it outputs any errors to CloudWatch, and you can set up CloudWatch alarms, but th that's the general fee. But let's say I want to create a more complex workflow. Let's say I want this job to run, and then the crawler that actually reads that parquet output, so the crawler that reads that parquet output, happens next. So we want to run the job and then run the crawler. That's where workflows come in. So at a very simplistic level, if we go into workflows and we say add workflow, we'll call this test workflow. And we'll call this uh, description daily run uh, to trigger crawler when finished. We'll leave it all here blank and then we'll put in one which means this workflow can only run once so 
You can set concurrency limits if you wanted the same workflow to be allowed to run 10 times at once, but in this principle, we only want it to run once, so we'll add workflow. Then highlight the workflow, and you get this little um, box down the bottom, which is where you can start to build up your actions. So first thing you wanna do is add a trigger, so our daily trigger, and we add it. And as you can see, daily, our CSV trigger is RAM. And then what we want to do after is add a new trigger that happens um, once that's finished. So we'll call this one crawler um, trigger. Oh, crawler trigger. Description runs crawler. And we want that to happen. Start after all any watched event. Start after all watched events. Start after any watched event. And it's going to happen on an event. And we're going to click add. And then we want to add that node and we want that to be a crawler and then we want it to run the per k crawler and we want to add so as simple as that you can see that we've now created a very simplistic workflow that when this runs at 9 a.m it's going to um, kick off that csv per k job that's going to change into per k when that job is finished running we're going to run our crawler and our crawler is going to um, pick up any schema changes or additional files that have came in overnight and that's really the, the the scheduling in a nutshell you can make extremely complex workflows where you have different dependencies and they're all built in together and you can add multiple workflows in one but to get going and as far as the scheduler is concerned i think it sits up there with some of the best that I've used in terms of simplicity. You are missing some integration features with other AWS components, but if you're looking at Glue's your ETL tool and, and trying to just hold everything together, it's a great starting place. So that's everything for today. I've been Johnny Chivers. As usual, I'll make all this information for free on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.